Me as a Caribbean child, as I mentioned earlier, and as an international citizen in the United States, and having been blessed with parents who were teachers and inspirers, I don't know any different than to uh, be a part of that which enables people to find their best self and connect those dots. And I know there's red tape and there's distractions, um, but those distractions take you off course. So while they exist, how do we find our best self and find the collaborators and the family members and the partners to do this kind of great work? Campaign for Black Male Achievement is, was born of the fact that all of those um, young men of color in the United States were being gunned down the last five or six years. And this, so out of all of the tragedy was born this endeavor, right? So that's a good thing. And then the universities and colleges and hard works, I couldn't wait to introduce them to Belize. I was, I was putting Belize in their ear a long time. And so here we are. Imagine not one of those young men had a passport four months ago. Not one. And parents were apprehensive of, of the, letting their children go beyond the zip code. Many of them have had to bury brothers and uncles and fathers. So there's a lot of trauma and also self-perception. I know the same thing happens in Belize. It happens everywhere. So if we don't enable young people specifically to know their wingspan, their place in the world despite zip code, despite village or district, then you're restricting them of anything that they aspire to do. When we mean black, we talk about African-American, but we also talk about Africans in the diaspora. We talk about, when we talk, you know, our young men um, are disconnected in a number of different ways from what their roots and their culture is. So they don't realize that they have the Latino in them, the Mestizo. They don't realize they have the Inca. They don't realize the tribes, the, the Igbo, that these things are interwoven in the way that children in the Americas realize that they're more than just skin tone, that there's also culture. And so what this is doing for these young men is exposing them to their wider selves. And when you, as a person, know who you are from a wider perspective, the world becomes a different place.